What's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com Today I have something very exciting to you uh, for, for you. I'm a little tired. I stayed up way too late. I actually have to go to work in a couple hours. And I've been up since yesterday at about this time. So, bad choice on my part. But, I wanted to create a new gas processor. And since we're replicating, guess what? I made the hydrogen gas gun. It's not finished, but I got the LED array, I got to wrap some coils, put my stainless uh, connectors inside of it, and it's good to go. So, this is what I want to make. This is the original hydrogen gas gun. And here is my hydrogen gas gun. Yeah, the sizes aren't the right because of the picture, but... There's a coil up top here, and I'll be placing that coil right between these two device dividers there. And then you got the LED array, the stainless on the inside, the stainless on the outside with the slots cut in it. Which is what I have here, ready to be uh, machined out, or i got to cut it out by hand. And then you got two coils on the bottom. So I've got two spots for two coils on the bottom. And then I know how this is wired. I traced it down. I have uh, done a lot of research on this in the past. And it's actually exactly the same way the VIC circuit is hooked up. If you look at the patents, you can see that as well. It is the way it is. And uh, here we go. I'm going to light her up. So these are, I believe, 405 nanometer LEDs. And uh, as you can see, they put out a pretty good spectrum. Now, my eyes don't see it near as bright as this camera does. But yeah, there you go. So I still have to make the tops and the bottoms. Uh, and the wires won't be just sticking out. I actually have connectors on here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what's going to be going on. Um, i got to do the end caps here a little. Finish them up. Wrap all my wire. Hook up my circuitry. BAM! Awesome stuff. So I just made that today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this down. Pull this off. If I don't break it. So you guys can see it. Oh, it's all upside down. There we go. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, the array here is uh, just together. It's all press fit. Machined all these out on the lathe. Like that. So what you have here is just this piece sitting inside this other piece. And then I got to put my stainless. Fits right inside here. I'm going to have to put a little bitty bushing in there. It's just ever so slightly loose. Um, and then I have to cut slots in it as you see in the patents. Um, there are actually four slots cut in here where the LEDs can shine through. And then on the side here, there's a connector that goes into the outside pipe, and there's a connector that goes to the inside pipe. Actually, this is a solid half inch. This is a three quarter inch outside diameter, 0.28 thickness. Um, and that's all got to be put in here yet. But uh, that's the essentials. So I thought I would give everyone a uh, a quick glance glimpse at what I did today. Um, I actually machined like all these parts in no time, and then uh, the soldering job took me a while. But uh, yeah, so there you go. That is my hydrogen gas gun. Let's see what the lights turn the lights off here. Oh yeah, that should do some business. That's neat. <laughs> Everything I make is neat, isn't it? I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, hopefully, um, the ultimate goal of this device, and this is what Stanley was using it for, is to help knock the electrons off of the hydrogen and oxygen to destabilize it. 
Um, and basically what a lot of people are having problems with right now is when you burn hydrogen, you have an explosion and an implosion because the water molecules turn back into, or the H H O turns back into a water molecule. Um, well, if you destabilize it, and if you read the information, it's all out there, uh, I can post some stuff in the description maybe, but if you read the patents and you look through the information, it states that basically Stan was stripping the molecules, or the atoms actually, the atoms down to at least less than four electrons. I believe you have to have eight to covalently bond correctly. I might be wrong on that, don't quote me. But you are stripping it down to at least four, and if you got it down past four, then when you ignited this hydrogen and oxygen, it's, it's so unstable that it cannot re can, can bind, and you have this thermal explosion. Okay. Do the research for yourself, but that's what's going on. Make sure I got the camera the right way. Um, and so that's the whole purpose of this gas processor. Now, what I want to do is use it for my EPG. Now, here's the thing about the EPG. Um, this spool of wire right here came out of a TV. This is number 22 gauge wire. I don't know where my templates went, but I had some templates made up for the dividers here on the EPG. And uh, what I'm going to do, and this is what I need from everybody, um, right now I need donation in the form of wire or money to buy wire. Because right now the EPG is not going to get any wire on it. This is number 22. Um, single build is probably fine. This is clear coated. That would be better so it's all the same color. But I guess I'll have to do with what I can get. Um... I don't have a length or measurement for you yet. I did um, add this cool little um, counter onto my wire straightener so that whenever the wire goes around here, I get a count. Um, and I did that to this roll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around here. Well, I got to measure it first, find out what my number is because I didn't calculate anything because it's homemade here. Um, and what I'm going to do is calculate the length of this wire. I'm going to wrap it on here and make it the right sizes. And then whatever's left, I'll run it back through here and calculate what is left. Uh, there are about 79, I believe, or 74. I got to recount. But there's there's a lot, a lot, a lot of wire on this, and I don't have any. Um, this here is uh, out of a TV. And that's where I got this from. Um, and I have all this wire down here that I got out of TVs, and I look through it all, and that's the only, this is the only number 22 that I have. Um, and that's bad. Because the from my research, the dimensions have got to be 22 gauge. That's what I'm going to use. That's what I need. So, basically what I'm telling you all is go to rwgresearch.com and give a donation if you are, like, able to do that. Do not do that if you're not. Um, it's just for those who can help. And those of you who already helped, that's fabulous. Um, I'm, I'm, I am where I'm at because of what you have donated. And right now, basically the EPG is at a standstill until I get some wire. Um, I would be willing to trade something that you may think you need. I have a couple of fork truck motors that you might be able to swap out for a uh, in a vehicle. I'd be glad to get that to you. Shipping is going to be outrageous, but hey, you know, send whatever you can and uh, maybe I can make a trade. I don't know. Anything else you think I, you, you might need that I might have? I don't know. I'm out of luck. Um, everything you see here is... Uh, except for the outside plexiglass, um, the inside tubing is actually from a broken undercar fluorescent light bulb. Um, the all the other plastic parts, including the caps and the dividers, are all from um, this scrap here that I got from work, and uh, also another piece of scrap here that I got from a um, a company. They threw out that they had machined leftover parts of, uh, I believe that's nylon. I'm not sure what it even is. But uh, it worked great for my end caps. 
But, uh, I mean, everything you see here, and then the LEDs are donated from Mike Powers. Uh, the circuit boards are actually donated by um, Blaine. Uh, and if I don't break this thing. Uh, so, and the, the clear plexiglass tube I actually bought with donations that you guys have given me before. Um, I'd planned on building this a while back. I just haven't got around to it. And uh, I don't like my other gas processor because I think it needs to be a little different. Um, I just am trying to get this to function the way it should be. Once it works, we can always modify it. But, you know, if it works, it works. And I have a feeling that it does work. and We, we can get it working. But um, I need your help. That's all I can say. I'm going to let you guys go with that. Russ with rwgresearch.com. You can go there. Um, donate some time and effort if you have to. But uh, please... Um, tell a friend of a friend of a friend that might know somebody who's willing to help out. That's great. That's why we got to do this thing. I hope to do some more live broadcasting. That was really fun. I was going to do it for this, but it's kind of boring. I'm kind of just over here playing on my lathe that uh, I got a long time ago for a, 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 uh, uh, a business I tried starting, actually. I needed it to make little parts, but uh, that didn't go over well. But hey, life is what it is, and uh, God bless you all. And, um, you know, I'm here. Let's do this thing. Peace.